what is going on real people welcome back to the channel guys so it is another week and this week we're test out some different deer attractants the first one we got right here is the big and j sweet corn feed uh the want and the need attractant this is a to die for stuff it's uh pretty cool it's got a whole bunch of really good nutritional facts on the back about it crude uh, crude protein crude fiber fats calcium all the stuff deer really need this time of year so this stuff at Walmart was about, I think, $10, $10.47, something along those lines. Not too terribly bad. Uh, the bag is a little bit smaller than the Buck Bourbon was, that is for sure. Now we're going to give it the old mandatory uh, smell test here, see what it smells like. Wow, it actually smells just like the Buck Bourbon. It just looks like a little, looks, ooh, dusty. Dusty. It looks uh, pretty much like uh, sawdust. I don't know if y'all can see in there, but yeah, looks pretty much just like sawdust. I'll get a little bit out for y'all so you can see. Yeah, sawdust. Really powdery like stuff. It smells really sweet. It smells like a uh, grinded up sweet corn almost. So that is the Big and J Long Range Attractant, made with five special hybrids of sweet corn. So we'll see how this stuff does. It looks pretty good. Heard a lot of good things about it. And then to pair with it, just like we did in the first video, I got some uh, Buck Bourbon Old Fashioned. The Buck Bourbon did so well the first time, bringing in those three dough I haven't seen all year. So I said, you know, what the heck, I'm gonna get this stuff again. It worked really good. And I have not tried the corn topper yet, so we're gonna try this today. So I'm gonna put out the uh, Big and J all over there, and then I'm gonna sprinkle the book ribbon everywhere else around it right in front of the camera now the camera we got this week is not the video camera unfortunately they're still working on another different type of deer tractor right now but this one is the spy link so it's going to send the pictures directly to my phone so within a week's time i'm going to put all the photos together and see what we got out here see what really draws the deer in and see if this really stuff really works and if it's worth your money so i'm going to get out and i'm going to start putting this stuff out for you right now So since the camera is like right here in front of this tree, I'm gonna put the stuff literally right here in a big old pile. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it at all. It's gonna be right here. Uh, maybe a little bit closer to the feeder. Right here, there we go. Big old pile right there. I'm just gonna put the pile right here, yeah. Not gonna overthink it. Quick and easy. There we go. Now for the Buck Bourbon Old Fashioned Corn Topper. So that is all of it, all of the Big and J, all of the Buck Bourbon Corn Topper. Now, I gotta say that this stuff smells way stronger than the deer came, or like right there next to it, because this stuff is like straight molasses. It is, whoo, it's strong. Like I can smell it from over here. It's like a, like someone's like boiling sugar or something inside the house and you just smell that really sweet aroma that's exactly what this stuff smells like like sweet sugar syrup i don't know what you even call it 
But anyway, we got the camera. It is on, it is ready to go. We got the feeder. I don't know if y'all realize, but hold on, let me get out of the way. Very far in the back, you probably can't see it, but my blind is way out there. So we are all set up for rifle season. I believe we have like 10 more days till rifle season here in East Texas. So with those 10 days, I'm gonna be doing these bait reviews for y'all. And hopefully, you know, we have the hunt coming up. So fingers crossed on that, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, I wanna leave this out here for five days in front of the camera. And in five days time, I will see y'all again with updates and pictures to see what this stuff to attract in. Did it attract deer? Did it attract hogs? Which one did it attract more? I'm really hoping that the hogs are gonna come out and destroy this tonight as soon as I leave, fingers crossed, but we will see. So guys, I will see y'all in five days. All right, guys, so it has been five days since we put out the Big and J uh, deer attracted and the Buck Bourbon uh, corn topper at the uh, clearing feeder in front of the uh, spy link camera. So uh, we got the photos back. I'm not going to lie to y'all, it's uh, not a lot. Uh, well, yet again, we had another pretty big uh, thunderstorm come through and pretty much uh, wiped out all the bait. But we do have some really good photos here of a, a few bucks and... Um, our uh, main actor seems to be the possum. Seems to be showing up at every bait location that I put him. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and look through these here right now with y'all. So here's the first one. This is uh, Bushwhacker. He's got the split G2 right up there. Big, beautiful buck. He's gonna be one of the ones that we uh, try to harvest this year. And uh, funny enough is I was out there sitting opening day and I left the blind at 6.15 and he showed up right at 6.45. So I was a little uh, upset at myself for that, but I'm just really happy to know that he's still around because I haven't seen him in about a week and a half. I, uh, I thought maybe, you know, he had traveled somewhere else or maybe a hunter had got him because, you know, rival season did start on the 4th and it's the 7th now. So, you know, just what I thought but he's looking good he hung around the feeder for a while but uh he did not even go to the big and j at all uh funny enough is that he really prefers corn like i've seen him at multiple sites and i put out attracted for him and he really doesn't care for it he doesn't he goes straight for the regular corn now the corn that he really likes is apple corn the one they sell at walmart that is uh really good and he just loves that stuff so yeah there he is he's uh, under the feeder just eating it and he doesn't stay around too long i think he stays around for me like 15 20 minutes and then here's that big rain you can see and uh there's the big possums man i'm telling you man these things are like they're getting diabetes they are getting pretty big in size and i really don't mind them uh not as much as i mind the raccoons but uh the possums i really don't mind you know they eat ticks and they're good so they're out there just going to town on that pile man going to town still just eating it up <laughs> now there's the raccoons yeah we got a lot of raccoons at one point uh i think i had like seven raccoons all on camera I tried to get that corn out of that feeder and that was just hilarious and then we got this guy right here this is the young buck this is the little spike um never seen him before so he's new but it really makes me happy to know that there is future generations of bucks out there coming up so you know he was eating on it he showed a little late to the party i guess all the rain wiped away the pile because you can't even see the pile no more it is completely gone i guess between the possums the raccoons and that rain it was just no more so a little guy showed up a little late to the party unfortunately but it is what it is uh but i'm just really happy to see him he hung around for a little while really good looking buck good body so that's our future right there in about two three years it'll be a good one so that's what we got with the big and j with the buck bourbon corn topper i'm sorry it's not a whole lot but you know it does show that it does attract animals it does uh it's really shocking to see that that big buck does not even go to it doesn't even sniff on it really he sees it and i don't know i don't know he just he's not for it but the possums love it, the raccoons love it, and I'm pretty sure this young buck right here would have definitely got him a mouthful if he would have showed up early enough, but unfortunately he did it. So, 
it is what it is, guys. I really hope you enjoy this review. Again, this was the Big and J with the uh, Buck Bourbon Liquid Corn Topper. So, uh, not too bad. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's a great deer attractor. It smells very strong, very sweet, very potent. I would say in uh, different circumstances, it probably would have done better. But between the weather, uh, we got the rut just now starting, the cold front started to come in. So a lot of different weather variables and a lot of things are going on right now. So it's probably affecting the way the deer feed. So that might have something to do with it, I don't know. But if y'all have any uh, comments or any uh, like thoughts about this stuff or why the deer may not be going for it please leave it in the comments below i love to hear why that is always very interesting to me because different areas are always different with the deer the deer always feed different in different areas like there's so many different variables that go into it it's so crazy but this is my experience uh would i buy it again uh, under different circumstances, yes, definitely. I definitely, definitely would. I think it's a very good uh, deer attractor. I think it smells very good. It's very, very sweet. And it's uh, relatively cheap. You can get them both for around $10, so that's not bad. So all in all, a great bait, a uh, great attractant. Definitely way to do it again. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I really hope uh, this review helped y'all out in deciding what type of attractants you wanna use here in the future. So guys, uh, please, if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel for more awesome reviews like this. Again, it is deer season. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff like this. We got some uh, good hunts coming up here pretty soon. So it's gonna be really, really good. Um, so yeah, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get alerted for more awesome videos like this. Like I said, give me the big thumbs up, guys. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.